Welcome to the first ever Carl Singer Foundation session. Um, it says here, pause for raucous cheering and applause. <laughs> I'm glad that applied. Um, so let me briefly explain about the Carl Singer Foundation. It's a charity which was formed last year after the relatively um, sudden death of my father, Carl Singer. Now, Dad dedicated his life to serving the yeast community. Um, he tirelessly developed yeast dissection, workstations, microscopes, and he taught, he must have taught tens of thousands of people how to dissect yeast tetrads. And he did it in his very own Carl Singer-esque way. Always very enthusiastic, always supportive, um, always patient, and he always made it fun. And it's because he had a great sense of humour um, that he was invited to talk at some of the conferences, and his comedic sessions. <laughs> Just like Martin running off in front there, were a welcome break from the academic rigour and, and serious scientific nature of the <coughs> oh, Just a little. It's <laughs> <laughs> quite unlike <laughs> us. <laughs> you uh, really smell of frankincense as well. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of time for that. But, uh, <laughs> each speaker has been given a word or a phrase to sneak into their talk. Um, they've also been given a dance move. And if they sneak the dance move into their talk, they get bonus points. As a parasite use different strategies such as generation, sorry, such a generation of reactive oxygen species and cationic fluxes to kill this uh, Tila's a gun called Candida albicans. So, previous work shows us have the Saccharomyces to release today. The first one is the skin pathway. So, type 1 is a uh, major regulate, regulate the drugs one, which is the uh, repressor of the hypoxic genes. And the second, uh, <laughs> second pathway is the sterile pathway. So UPC2 is uh, regulated to regulate the Gostra family genes in hypoxic. Because uh, carbon is, uh, is our currency, and it would be pterodactyl if that didn't use it. It's commensal, also pathogenic, and causes superficial infre infections of erogenous zones. And it also uh, causes life threatening disseminated infections. So during S phase, the DNA is being replicated. So uh, the replication fork is travelling along, <laughs> and then if it encounters a problem, <laughs> and then we get recruitment of these um, replication checkpoint proteins. Also, the same or similar effects were observed by uh, crossing another strains uh, from the paradoxes, which is was created by our host So I'd like to get the important bit out of the way first in case we run out of time at the end. Uh, I am currently uh, in the process of completing my PhD. I'm looking for a postdoc. <laughs> four weeks' time, uh, I'll be leaving the lab. Uh, you might say I'll be leaving like a bat out of hell, and I'll be gone. <laughs> we have this um, the GFP binding protein, which is derived from a horror monkey. Um, <laughs> and I was really like looking and realizing that my favorite protein basically doing like a moonwalking movement where it's trying to go <laughs> to the nucleus, but here we have cream one and due to its complex appearance it has to go back. <laughs> so basically it's not a real situation. Uh, to confirm the uh, genuine transformants in the upper band on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> That was just a, uh, a PCR to amplify the uh, marketing back out of the, the genomic DNA. I wanted to use uh, heterozygous knockouts to phenotypically um, uh, work out what the contribution of each allele was. So, 
My RNA sequencing approach. What we have here is the um, general <laughs> RNA sequencing approach uh, that people use. Uh, Dr. Dan Grief, I'm here in the, uh, uh, in the corner. He published a uh, new, um, uh, a very interesting article actually about this. We suggest the drugs to in Castalia, uh, like the gun going in the church for attacking the cells. Um, the I, the Arab bacteria passes the TDNA region to the yeast. Uh, the yeast says ambassador spoilers um, and integrates the TDNA into the into the, the yeast genome. Yeah, last talk on 13th as well, so it doesn't bode well. The thing that really frustrates me is I never know which of these screens to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the human oncogenic isoform in the human embryonic kidney cells, and uh, this was actually quite a, a late night result that I was trying to get uh, before another another talk. And so when I actually got this result that showed uh, conservation of uh, uh, an increase in genomic content was observed when we overexpressed uh, EF22, you might say that I also uh, suffered from a bit of a night fever. But <laughs> <laughs> that was so we think that somehow that um, CDS1B is causing this association. Um, but just like nipple tassels, I don't think there is exist, but I haven't found a use for them yet myself. <laughs> Interestingly, that it cannot explain our mechanism uh, fully, because this delay, it's, uh, this delay, it's really like uh, <laughs> maintained only, um, only, not till one hour, but only 10 minutes. So the second mechanism we found was the interaction of Happy Freeman. So the man is moved down, and he looked at really under, um, so under... <laughs> Ferrero Rocher advert spotted. Well done, Jonathan. Um, uh, Singer Inst, amazed she didn't pass out, um, hashtag paper bag ready, <coughs> speak faster, breathe less, hashtag collapse. <laughs> uh, there's some funny stuff coming through. Um, and I would like to thank Thank you, Bianchi Lan, um, so I'm from the University of Sussex and um, the rest of the Genome Centre and also uh, Ken, Ken Hayes, who's my father. <laughs> 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 didn't expect to happen to get today was to to celebrate be celebrating right now such a such a heartfelt um, moment and I, and I know this prize which is a, a 50 pound gift voucher is no substitute for, for years of, of uh, no child support <laughs> but a 50 pound uh, Amazon gift voucher goes to Mansi Gar who it turns out is um, Ken's daughter. As for the main main competition, third place. Third place was neck and neck with three people um, on on 26 points, and and the person who won it in the end. Um, those, oh, let me just explain who those three people were because it, it was it was very difficult to choose between Graham Thomas, Sophie Shaw, and Iroslava Kos, who who all presented very very nice talks indeed. Um, but the winner it. Sorry, the, the third place position in the end um, was just got by the person who took the fewest breaths um, throughout their tour. <laughs> and I think you all know who that is. So, Iroslava Kos, please come and play for us.
Uh, second place, so this is for a lovely fat check for £150. Um, second place goes to Stephen Brown. Where are you? I'm going to Disneyland. Okay, so straight on to first place. This is the prize. This is three hundred pounds. The first ever Carl Singer Foundation session winner goes to Jessica Fletcher. Thank you very much.